Hi folks, <clears throat> welcome back to the Horde. Well, today is, let's see, Sunday the 3rd. 32 degrees out here, I just opened the door, so. Um, yeah, it's about 32, it's probably cooled off just a touch. Anyway, about 4.30. I'm just coming off a four day at work. I work uh, 12 hour shifts. Um, Wednesday through Saturday, every other Sunday. I start work, I don't know, at about 6.15 in the evening, and I finish work about 6.30 in the morning. And today it ran a little later. It was closer to 7. So by the time I got out of there, I stopped at the grocery on the way home. Um, and all, it kind of kind of makes it tough to get rolling. So anyway, I try to get something done every day, no matter what, because uh, if one doesn't, and you own a horde like I do, it just, uh, it just makes it so things never seem to get done. Anyway, I'm outside, and uh, in my travels last week, I got the bolts to put the starter on this thing, and I just wanted to, to try to give it a kind of a cold start and uh, see how she does. Um, I'm not going to have a battery in it. It doesn't need the battery to excite the ignition system. This thing uh, has a coil and a CDI that's independent of 12 volts. So I just want to uh, see if this thing will fire on the pull cord. Um, so I, uh, I, I put three bolts on. One is broken off in there. So there's that one, that one, and one underneath. Um, this guy here is broken. I can't get a bolt in there. It only goes part way and it stops. And as a matter of fact, um, this guy here, I had, could you see it there? Um, I had trouble putting it in. The thread seemed to be packed with dirt. So I uh, put a wire through there and tried to clean them out. And then what I did is, uh, on this bolt here, on, um, I took a Dremel tool and put a, a, a slit um, perpendicular to the threads um, two of them and then threaded it in and it went right in so um, that one looks looks like it's going to be good um, I left the gas on because I'm a moron and uh, obviously the float doesn't hold it because it was dripping on the driveway there I think I still have gas in here yeah this still there's still gas in it, so it, it was a slow drip. Hopefully it's not all flooded to hell. So we'll see if she'll fire up. And uh, I figured I'd bring you guys out here just so that you know I haven't died over the last four days. So there we go. So you can uh, see what I'm doing. Well, two things. Obviously, she started up, um, which is nice. Uh, the bad thing is, uh, I left it in here. I did turn the gas off. I'm going to let it run until it runs out of gas. Anyway, um, this is a good thing that she started up easily. The next thing I have to do to turn this thing into a runner I have to do something with this uh, shifter here. Uh, and once I do that, I pop the seat on it and we could uh, drive it around. She's a, she's a running bike. So it's, it's getting there. Um, Sure. 
I'm going to cop this thing up. I might have to look to see if I have another shifter somewhere or what I'm going to do. Anyway, folks, live, love, have a great time. Remember, keep the handlebars out of the snow. And try to remember to take your bike out of gear before you start it. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Take care.